Hello everyone, my name is Natalie Morris. I'd like to share with you a brief overview on the paper I wrote with Dr. Ndola Prada, Abortion History and its Association with Current Use of Modern Contraceptive Methods in Luanda, Angola. In Sub-Saharan Africa, women often use abortion to space births or limit their fertility. Studies have demonstrated that a key predictor of induced abortion is having previously terminated a pregnancy, which indicates that women are likely not getting access to effective contraceptive methods after their first abortion to prevent another unwanted pregnancy. There is no recent data available on abortion in Angola, in part due to the fact that induced abortion is only permitted when the pregnant woman's life is in danger. As a result, there have been no recent studies focusing on the contraceptive behaviors of Angolan women who have had induced abortions. Contraceptive prevalence is low in this country. It is estimated that only about 13% of married women of reproductive age nationwide and 23% of married women in the capital province of Luanda use a modern contraceptive method. For this study, we aim to improve knowledge of abortion practices in Angola and investigate the association between abortion history and current contraceptive use. Understanding this relationship is necessary for addressing contraceptive unmet need and gaps in access to family planning services. We use data from a cross-sectional study conducted in Luanda, Angola in 2012. For our analysis, we assessed the relationship between abortion and contraceptive use and adjusted for common confounders. The abortion variable was categorized as no abortions and one or more abortions since the rate of multiple abortion in our study was so low. The outcome variable, current use of a modern contraceptive method, was also binary, with women categorized as not currently using a modern contraceptive method and currently using a modern contraceptive method. We first assessed the distribution of each type of contraceptive method women reported using and found that among women who had never had an abortion, over one-third reported using no method whatsoever. Among women who had one or more abortions, the most common method was the condom. Our regression results demonstrated that women who had one or more abortions were 23% more likely to be using a modern contraceptive method as compared to women who never had an abortion. So, what conclusions can we draw from this study? Well, we know that women who have had abortions are more likely to want to prevent another pregnancy, so it makes sense that they would be more likely to use a modern contraceptive method. However, nearly a third of women who had an abortion were using condoms, which have notoriously high failure rates. These findings suggest that women who may be trying to prevent an unwanted pregnancy may not be getting access to the types of contraceptive methods that would effectively allow them to do so. While our study provides insight into the family planning practices of women in Luanda, we hope that future studies will use these findings to investigate the underlying causal factors that would explain this association. We believe our findings provide evidence that family planning programs should work on improving the method mix in Angola by offering more highly effective contraceptive methods, in addition to just condoms, to women throughout the country.